This is my son's thought book for My Father's Dragon, and this is kind of like a book report lap book. It's found at Homeschool Share under the Story Studies. I used three file folders total to make this lap book. It's a double lap book, and then inside the first folder there's an extension, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Here's the first folder. And we have finding evidence. And my son wrote a little bit about how the boys knew there was an intruder on the island. They found tangerine pills. And he drew some. This is a trifold. This is a little simple fold of mouse speak. And we recorded some of the funny things the mouse says. He gets his words confused easily. And he says things such as, me neither. This is a little flat book of tiger math based on the seven terrible tigers. How many eyes, how many mouths, how many legs, and my son just wrote each answer behind the flap. This is a little tiger fact wheel, and I do recommend using a small brad and placing it a little lower in order to get the wheel to work. This is a little pop-up. The book never tells us what is on the east side of the island, and so I had my son use his imagination, and he decided that there was a, a blue ringed octopus on the east side of the island. This bottle is a message in the bottle sent back to the cat who helped Elmer prepare for the journey. My son told me what to type, and I typed it up for him, and we pasted it on there. For extra fun, we um, added a transparency so it looks like glass. Up here, we have a lion's fact book. This is an accordion. We tied it with a string to help it stay closed. It opens like this. My son did some research for the animals in the book, and he told me what to write, and then he cut and pasted things into the books. This is a little simple fold telling Gorilla's problem, fleas, and this is an IC fleas. Again, we use the transparency to look like glass. On the inside, we just have a little bit about fleas. Okay, this first section, it opens up. Maybe. It opens up into another section. This is our extension. And if you can see, the extension is another file folder. I cut a tiny bit off here if you can see the edge and we just glue it down and so we have an entire another file folder here this is my favorite kind of extension I have done quite a few lap books with my son and we've learned that this is a very sturdy way over here we have a concept map showing the flora or the plants and the fauna or the animals living on the island. We kept track as we read. This is little tortoise trifold with facts. This is a whale accordion with some facts. Again, my son researched the facts and told me what to write. This is a little matchbook about kindness and how Elmer was kind to the cat. This um, book tells about why the lion was upset. My son told me what to write. We pasted ribbons on this book because Elmer used seven ribbons to help the lion. 
This is Elmer's Knapsack, and this was probably my son's favorite book. This is very different than anything we've done for a lap book before. We attached the top and the bottom of Velcro, and you can see it opens up, and there are three pockets. There's a little pocket here for the pocket knife and the toothbrush and toothpaste. And there's a little pocket here that has a compass, rubber bands, gum, and the hairbrush comb. And then there's a big pocket here that has all kinds of stuff, which would be everything else that Elmer packed that he would need on his adventure to Wild Island. This is a three-fourths book about Elmer hiding on the ship, and you can see his little feet. You open it up, and it says what's really in the sack, and of course, it's Elmer. My son really enjoyed that book, too. And you can see why it's called a three-fourths book. It's three parts of the whole page. Okay, so that will do for our extension. And go ahead and look at, this would be the sec well, the third folder we've looked at. <clears throat> Over here we have a little pocket. Why was that rhinoceros crying? His horn was yellow. Here we have a little simple fold with rhinoceros facts. Over here we have the dragon, and um, it's held together with a brass fastener. And it explains the plight of the dragon on the island. Here we have a map. The map of the island of Tangerina and Wild Island. We just made a photocopy from the book for this map. We also made a photocopy of the front of the book for a cover of our lap book. Crossing the river. This is another accordion. And this tells how Elmer got across. Elmer gives the crocodiles lollipops and crosses the river. This is a pocket for a dragon adventure story my son still needs to write. And this is a little flying survey. He would like to go flying, and he would like to fly by dragon all the way to Mars. And there's a little picture of Elmer and the dragon that we also copied from the book. And that's all.